uh, projects, uh, that's fold it. And then uh, you have another uh, project called the st uh, uh, store catchers, and then the globe at night. Uh, uh, once you, you click on that, uh, you could register for any of them, but we're going to give you a demonstration of how each of them work. And then uh, we're also going to give you a highlight on, on how unique mappers <coughs> drive uh, the citizens' uh, science as well as the sustainable development goals. Uh, for the first presentation, or rather, uh, we have uh, some of our presenters that will be working with me uh, on this webinar. And uh, we have uh, um, uh, one of them from Hong Kong that will be presenting, but unfortunately, uh, she's not available now because she's rushing someone for an emergency. So. so I'll be taking her presentation on SDG, and then uh, we have uh, uh, Ezine uh, will be presenting on, uh, Ezine is from University of Portaco, a pharmacy student, and uh, one of the store catchers champion for unique mappers. She'll be presenting on store catchers, and uh, I will also be guiding us on how you can play Fold It. Uh, Fold It is one of the games uh, puzzle that uh, uh, connects us to COVID-19 uh, 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 research analysis. And then we have uh, Priska from uh, University of Nigeria and Soka. She'll be guiding us on how to uh, uh, go about the Globe at Night uh, uh, Science project. And then uh, uh, we'll round it up for today. And after today, we hope that everyone will be engaged with a challenge on Fold It, um, uh, uh, Fold it uh, Season Science project, so that by next week, Tuesday, we'll come on board to see uh, how many are, play, are played and then who is the leading uh, citizen science for unique mappers. And then we'll be able to see the credits uh, uh, we are able to earn as a unique uh, mappers network. Uh, during this uh, citizen science uh, month. And after that, we also take up another challenge for store catchers and then subsequently for Globe at Night. Um, uh, let me go ahead with the presentation on, on, um, on sustainable uh, development goals for, uh, uh, for citizen science. Uh, let me take that and then uh, we go ahead. I'm sure you can see my slide. Yes, we can. And um, Victor, before we go any further, um, this is Caroline from the SciStarter team. Um, we're recording and streaming live on Facebook to a global audience. I just wanted to thank you and your team for all of your hard work and honestly how inspirational you are, are you all are and your passion for this work. So. Thank you so much. Thank you for educating other people in Nigeria and also people worldwide about these really important topics. Thank you very much, Caroline from Science, uh, Science Tata. Uh, we go ahead with the slide, sustainable development goals and uh, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, this slide was prepared by HH Shelley, a uh, unique MOPAS uh, member at Hong Kong. And uh, uh, here we want to look at uh, how we can connect sustainable development go to uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic and also how Unique Mapas is driving a sustainable uh, development goal. And so uh, what do we mean by sustainable development goal? Uh, it's all about the global goals, about 17 that is adopted by United Nations uh, member state in 2015, and uh, these uh, uh, global goals are broken into 169 targets and 232 uh, indicators. They are universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet, and, and ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity by 2030. So in other words, uh, the integrated goals aim to leave no one behind. And so uh, where we aim to leave no one behind, then we are unique mappers, uh, have a focus to map everyone uh, so that no one is left behind. Uh, 
And so you can see uh, uh, all the sustainable development goals that are recapped from number one to uh, 17, uh, number one, no poverty, two, zero hunger, three, good health and well-being, uh, four, quality education, five, gender equality, six, clean water and sanitation, and so on. And then you have 17 uh, for partnership and uh, uh, for partnership uh, for the goals. And then you can look at uh, how it is connected to uh, the, the state of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic uh, for global uh, uh, statistics. You can see the global statistics currently, how it, uh, you know, it's going the trend. And then you see that of Nigeria, uh, uh, that's almost uh, approaching uh, uh, 250. Uh, you can see about uh, 50 uh, uh, people are recovering. And then you can see the statistics there for Nigeria as well as uh, uh, the global uh, statistics. Then the SDG and COVID-19 impact, uh, you can see the slide there, the impact for each of these uh, uh, SDG, uh, it actually has a significant impact on all the SDGs. However, uh, all of them are all, uh, uh, some are interconnected. And so you have a positive impact as well as a, a negative impact on all the SDGs. And uh, uh, for citizen science and the SDGs, uh, uh, in citizen science, uh, we try to, we, we, we rely on uh, data that is critical to monitor uh, the progress of SDGs. So uh, through citizen science, uh, we can provide reliable data uh, that will be very, very critical or that are very critical to monitoring the progress of SDG. And traditional data sources uh, are, are not always uh, available. And so, it, and not just that, it is also expensive and prone to errors as, so, as a result of that. We, we ensure that uh, non-traditional uh, data sources uh, could be collected, uh, could, be, could be used to collect data. So the citizen science methodology involves uh, uh, engaging everybody to drive uh, uh, scientific data, to drive the collection of scientific data, and then uh, to ensure that knowledge is uh, shared uh, especially using online platform as well as uh, uh, other methods. And so for Unique Mappers uh, SDG uh, Drive, at Unique Mappers, we make use of citizen science methodology, methodology to collect data. And uh, we also drive the SDG by, uh, by making use of open data mapping to drive uh, measurable uh, uh, measurable targets of SDG. We use, uh, we use open data mapping to provide the effects of diseases such as uh, the current uh, pandemic uh, COVID-19, HIV, and uh, as well as others. And as by doing so, we drive the SDG uh, goal three. We also use open data mapping to drive SDG two by uh, looking at areas of places where the poverty, poverty prevails, we use open data mapping to drive uh, SDG2 on, on, uh, on, on open data mapping for agriculture and nutrition. And so we also use SDG to drive youth empowerment and commitment, as well as uh, uh, other SDGs that, uh, for instance, the GO5, uh, that these on gender equality and so on. Uh, we also drive a, a, a SDG uh, 17 by ensuring that we go into partnership uh, to achieve uh, measurable targets of uh, uh, SDGs. Uh, these are part of uh, uh, the ways we at Unique Mapas Network uh, drive the SDG. And our focus is to see how we can use open data mapping, citizen science, uh, uh, participatory citizen science, as well as mobile data collection to drive different aspects of uh, the SDG projects at local level, 
uh, in all our various uh, uh, teams. Uh, that's for the presentation on SDG, uh, uh, on SDG and the uh, unique mappers. So uh, we'll call on um, we'll call on Ezine to go ahead and give us a presentation on on store catchers on store catchers so that uh, uh, we could know how that goes and then we come back to folded projects. Okay, hello everyone. I'll be speaking briefly on store catching and I'm going to bring my slide now. My slide. I'm sharing my screen. One minute, one minute. Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can. Go ahead. Yeah, we can yes, hear you. Okay. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, I'm coming. It's booting. Come on, come on. Okay, I'll start with Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive disorder that causes brain cells to degenerate and die. It causes a person not independently. It affects mostly the elderly people, but it's not limited to them. And I'll go on to how store cultures is associated with Alzheimer's disease. First of all, store cultures is a citizen science project and it's an online game that basically anyone can play as long as you have internet access and it does not require any experience. And store cultures enables everyone to contribute to Alzheimer's disease research and speed up the search for a treatment. And while we're playing store cultures, we look out for blood stalls which do not move because blood stalls in the brain reduces blood flow which is associated with Alzheimer's disease. And then we catch these stalls by looking at movies from the, mind, from the brain of mice and then scoring blood vessels as flowing or stalled. It's really, really easy. Then coming to my experience in playing stall catching, I wanted that stall catching for me, it creates a platform where I can actually play games and help humanity at once. Like it's really, really exciting when I'm playing store catchers. Okay, I'll go on to show on show how you can play store catchers. I'll just play one. Come on, come on, come on. I'll play one so we can see how to play store catching. Okay, this is the store catching website. And my team is unique mappers. So now I'm going to I'm playing this movie. Okay, I can't see any stalled, any blood stalls. So I'm going to click on flowing. Oh, sh I'll have to play another one. Let's see, one, two. I still can't see any blood stalls on this one. So I'll click on flowing. Okay. And that's basically the way to play stall catching. At first, when you register, you see a one minute um, clip on how to play. So it's really easy. I would really encourage every single person to play stall catching as it helps to speed up the search for Alzheimer's disease. And that will be all. Thank you for listening. Okay, I'm, I'm done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, you. Ezine, for that demonstration for store catchers. And so we expect all our community members, everyone sitting at uh, staying, staying safe at home, 
uh, to start playing the stock catchers uh, right away, all you need to do is to go to stock catchers uh, uh, websites or platform on your smartphone or uh, a web-based laptop and then assess uh, the stock catchers and then you create your account. By the time you do that, you select your team unique mappers and start playing stock catchers. By so doing, uh, you'll be helping to fight against uh, Alzheimer's disease. And uh, with that, you'll be contributing to citizen science uh, from your end. Thank you very much, uh, Ezine. Uh, from University of Portacourt Pharmacy Department for that uh, presentation. Uh, before we go over to fold it, I'm sure uh, Priska from University of Nigeria uh, Geography Department is on board. Uh, uh, you can do well by giving us your own presentation on Globe at Night. Hi everybody, good afternoon. Um, I'm going to be giving a presentation on Globe at Night. So I'd like to share my screen so that you all can see the presentation. Thank you. Hello, are you having a difficulty? We can share your slide from here. Do My screen. Please you ask Ezine. Do you have your slide? Uh, Ezine, no, can you, Ezine, can you stop your slide? Can you click, can you stop your slide, please? Ezine, can you stop your slide? Hello, Ezine, can you stop your slide so that uh, Priska can share her own slide? Here, Victor, I can make it so you can share. Yeah. Um, all right, let me do that right now. And okay, thank you. Sharing. And now you can share. Okay. All right. All right. My presentation is about global night. So I would like to give you a brief definition on what this is all about this is just a practice of public participation where it can sorry this is the practice of public participation and collection programs. Now, citizen science enable participants to make a direct contribution to and improve their scientific understanding and immerse themselves deeply in a field to learn about environmental issues. Now, we look at 
what is what Global Night is all about. Global Night is just a is an international citizen science campaign to raise awareness of uh, the impacts of light pollution by we invite by inviting citizen scientists to measure their night sky brightness and submit the observations from either a laptop or a smartphone or an iPad or whatever you could be using. So this uh, this light pollution is just um, outdoor light or uh, a light that is misdirected or this light has and some issues or some consequences. And we, as you can see from the slides, like uh, uh, it disrupts ecosystems and has adverse effects on our health. Now, why do we carry out this Global at Night project? We carry out this Global at Night project because we want to create awareness on what light pollution is all about and the levels of light pollution. And we want to monitor light pollution all around the world. Now, we also want to look at the effect of this pollution on energy consumption and how to inform individuals on the possible solutions to keep their skies very healthy. Now, how do we play this globe at night? I will just log into this, uh, this site right here and then give you an example on how to play globe at night. From, from the website, if you go to the reports, you could see the, we just have five, uh, five things you do to give your observation. So from the first one, you just give uh, the dates and the time in which you made the observation. So automatically my phone gives me the date that 7th April 2020 and the time is, the time is already there. So um, I'll have to tell them where I'm making my observation from and I'm making it from Enugu. So I'm just going to type Enugu on this, on this area. So Enugu is already there. I'm going to actually use the map to search for Enugu. So, I'll just go in and search for Enugu. You still there? Um, Victor, can you still hear everybody? Yes, we can. Uh, I think she's she's trying to. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, Priska, are you still on? Okay. Okay, uh, maybe there's a network challenge. Uh, maybe there's a network challenge, but then uh, the globe at night uh, from where she stopped uh, is all about uh, uh, providing observation of, uh, of uh, sorry. It's all about providing observation of uh, uh, the sky uh, at night. Uh, you see what you observe and then you record on the data and uh, after recording, you can submit. While submitting, uh, there will be an email provision to enable you uh, have a point or have the credit for uh, submitting the data. So you add a unique mappers uh, team at unique mappers team at gmail.com and then you submit. From where she stopped, you could see the map, uh, the interactive map showing the uh, 
uh, uh, that you are, you are going to use to identify your location where you did the observation. So all you need to do is to zoom in uh, to your location and select your town, uh, select the where you are. And then from that selection, you can now identify, uh, give a description of the town, if it's an urban area or is uh, uh, a rural area, you go ahead and give the description. And then eventually you put in uniqueconfastim at uh, gmail.com uh, so that uh, the credit could be uh, given to you as well as uh, the team. And then you submit the data. And so that now helps to provide a global map that shows uh, where we have a uh, light pollution uh, with respect to uh, uh, the use of uh, energy and so on. So uh, we'll be going back uh, to show us uh, the next project. Uh, the next project is on Fold, is, is our Fold It. And uh, Fold It is all about uh, a puzzle uh, a game that uh, pro provides us the opportunity to analyze uh, our uh, to analyze the current uh, uh, COVID nineteen COVID nineteen so that you can uh, 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 help to drive uh, uh, the solution uh, towards uh, COVID nineteen. I'm trying to assess my okay. So let me come up with, uh, let me get back to, let me get the site so that we can see it practical. Uh, we can see how it works. So beside uh, uh, these three projects, uh, we also have uh, so many other projects on science data, but uh, we've taken time to uh, look at this particular project, uh, these three projects, so that we all can uh, uh, be engaged with that and uh, participate uh, uh, within this season, science month, and uh, after uh, that. Oh. I'm really trying to assess my website. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, I'm trying to share my screen. Uh, if you press the green button at the bottom, that should share your screen. Oh. Okay, okay, uh, good to go now. Good, so uh, uh, this gets us back to uh, our page for the season science month. Uh, this is, uh, okay, this is all about the season science month and all the events and activities I supposed to go ahead. Okay, this is for, uh, this is for uh, sustainable development goals. Uh, 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 projects. And so we expect uh, all our participants to also uh, provide uh, uh, this, uh, go to this link and uh, submit uh, this survey so that uh, uh, we can assess how uh, citizen science supports the uh, United Nations Sustainable Development Goal. And I'm sure I've been able to, to give a little highlight on sustainable development goal and uh, citizen science. Yeah, this is uh, the page for fold it. So all you need to do is to go over here and then you click uh, fold it. By the time you click fold it, uh, it brings you to this page and then you go down to this point. Um, Okay, yeah, you go to fold it page, uh, play fold it, and uh, by the time it comes up, the next thing you do is to create your 
uh, create your username. And as you create your username, uh, we look forward that uh, you are going to, you can use a unique mapper, that's UMT, UMT underscore your first name, uh, and then you write 2020, so that we can have a unique uh, username for all our, our team players. And uh, once you create that, you actually make use of your own password, and then you log in. By the time you log in, uh, before you do that, uh, make sure you go through the videos and uh, you watch the videos. And as you watch the videos and uh, read the instructions, you will see how uh, it works and how you can actually play. But the next thing is that once you log in, uh, you should go to the groups and uh, you select uh, Unique Mappers Network. By the time you select Uni Unique Mappers Network, I uh, will receive a message and then that will automatically list you to Unique Mappers group so that uh, you can be identified with Unique Mappers group. You can see that we have uh, uh, so many groups globally that are currently playing the folded uh, solve puzzle for science. And uh, uh, for now, uh, we have it connected to uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So you watch the video, you create the account, uh, create your username, and then you read through uh, how it goes and you start playing. And by next Tuesday, we'll come on board to see those that are leading on this platform with uh, Unique Mappers Network. So uh, I think that's for all for now. Uh, to have a recap of what we just said, uh, make sure you go to uh, season science, I mean, science data, or you take the link we are sending, and then uh, you click any of these uh, three projects. And as you do that, you create your account, uh, your username, select unique mappers, and then start playing. By next week, when we come on board again for uh, to, to check what we have been able to do for Foldit, we want to see the leading uh, players and uh, be sure with me, we are going to give you uh, uh, an award if you are one of those that, uh, if you are the leader for Foldit, we want to see your points. And if you have any question with respect to any of these uh, uh, season science project we are carrying out now, please do well to send a message to uh, unique mappers team at gmail.com or you send a WhatsApp message, I uh, will be able to help you. I want everyone to stay safe, uh, stay home, and stay busy uh, uh, carrying out citizen science uh, with Unique Mapper's team. All the games, all the projects are very easy ones. You don't need to go out to do any of them. All you need to do is stay indoors and then use your smartphone, use your use your smartphone or use your um, uh, uh, desktop or laptop. And then as you do that, you'll be able to play along. So I wish you the best and uh, make sure you join us to play all these games uh, 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 to carry out this season science project this uh, uh, month. And uh, you really uh, be excited that you're part of the season science month. Thank you very much everyone for coming on board. Thank you, Victor. And for those of you who weren't able to um, get the first part of this webinar, it's available on SciStarter's Facebook page. We streamed live to Facebook during this presentation. And um, like Victor said, we're going to have more meetings throughout the month. And um, we're looking forward to working with you and accomplishing some real scientific research. So Victor, I think I'm going to stop recording now, if that's OK with you. And um, then we can all kind of talk about next steps. Does that sound good? Yes, you can. All right, we are no longer streaming to Facebook, so let me allow everyone to talk. So everybody can, you know, speak, allow to talk. Yeah, you can ask your questions, uh, you can make contribution. Thank you everyone for joining. I can see Charity, Zina, 